My girl Cheryl is hanging out. What up, girl? What's up? Are you good? I'm really good, thank you. We have so much to catch up on. I know, and it hasn't even been that long. Since I am I fanboying so hard right now. Right. Under the sun, awesome tune. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely loving it. It's been my cut all summer. Oh. Um, sexy Dan, uh, sexy Dan and Mother, and yes. that favorite tunes off a million lights. You have good taste, James. I know. Sexy Dan and Mother is awesome, That's isn't a it? Great. Sexy song. Dan and Mother, Mother. <laughs> yes. Love it. Unbelievably good tune. <laughs> Thank Back you. to Under the Sun, though. I'm gonna get it on soon. So it's about boys lying. Basically, we all know that, right? Do all boys lie. I mean, I'd like to think. Have you heard the song? I have a song called Boys Lie. I haven't heard that. No, on the is that album? A different album. It's on the deluxe. Oh, you should hear it. You're killing me. It's actually called Boys Lie. And it's the same thing. It says, Boys Lie and Somewhere a Good Girl Cries. Oh, that's horrible. I know. And not just good <laughs> girls that cry. I know. Somewhere a good guy cries too. So, have you got like a, a lie detector back at home to like, you know, test out boys, future booze? Isn't that, isn't that a shame that we have to think like that? It is. I'm trying to not go there. I don't want to be negative-minded. So do you just know when a boy's lying? You can just yeah, tell? I think so. How can you tell? Your gut instinct. And you follow your gut? Your eye, Look at their eyes. What can you tell from their eyes? Fibs. Say again? Fibs. <laughs> you can just tell, can you? I think Cheryl's so. worked this one I'm out. glad you've not bought Fifty Shades with you tonight. No, I, I, do you know what? I've got it, though. On you? Not on us. I've already got up to page 16. 60? Yes. <laughs> okay. So Lily got us it for my birthday, and I, but I just keep putting it down and forgetting to pick it back up. But I am going to read it. I wouldn't have she's thought... She's read all three. Lily was reading all three, and she's loving it? She's loving it. <laughs> so are you loving it from what you've read? Uh, so far, it's good, yeah. Yeah. I haven't got any to the, any of the juicy bits yet. Okay. Just skip. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Just page, I would just, just skip. Flick. Have you read them? No. Oh. I've not read them yet. <laughs> but I hear Christian Grey is all that. I heard too. Who would you say is your Mr. Grey? If you had to choose a Mr. Grey. Ooh. Um, nobody I'd like to mention on here. <laughs> is it Prince Harry? That's it. There it can't go. be Prince Harry. <laughs> it's Prince Harry. <laughs> Can it you not were... be Prince Harry? Lily says it can't be Prince Harry. <laughs> is it bad? Oh, it's bad. You're no. absolutely loving Prince Harry's naked pics the other week. I am. Not so much the nakedness, but the nature of it, like... He's having fun. He's 27. It's what we should all be doing at that so age. Do you watch Geordie Shore to go to sleep? I normally put it on just because I like to hear the familiar sound and accents. <laughs> you sleep to Geordie Shore? Yeah, so it's like a comfort. All right, so excuse my Geordie, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse my Geordie. Do you do the slot drop? I haven't, but I do have a talk coming up. <laughs> Are you going to do the, the S drop? We'll call it from now on, maybe, on tour. Maybe. Oh my God. Have you been practicing the S drop? Oh my God. That was a nod. I want to see the S drop, but obviously you're in a sling, so I guess you can't do it. <laughs> Can you do the S drop? No, I've got a sore arm. Even we can't do it together? I've got a sore arm. Yes. <laughs> it just would have been incredible to see the S drop, but it's good. Next time. Oh my God. So on tour, that could actually happen. So what else is going to go on? Because obviously, like, we're all going to be screaming for Fight for This Love, Three Words, Call My Name. The tunes are going to be massive, aren't yeah, they? Absolutely. Are you reworking any of the tunes? I am. I'm, I mean, it's just, I want it to just be fun from the start to the finish. Like, I don't want anybody to have a breather. I want it hysteria. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it'd be that anyway. You just need to walk out and stand there for three hours and there's hysteria. <laughs> um, so, are you taking Will I Am and Wretch 2 on tour? I might. You haven't decided? You should come along and see. I'm going to, but I want to know now. No. Okay. There are pictures of you rehearsing. So, what can fans expect? Are you, are you feeling kind of nervous about the tour or not? I'm not. I'm, I'm a long time in the industry. I mean, it's nerve wracking that I'm alone. The only thing I've done alone was when I supported the Peas. On their, to on their tour, so obviously there's, you know, it's a far bigger scale. But I'm actually really excited. I can't wait. The choreography is sick. What's going on with Tom Daly? I mean, literally, I, I find it hysterical that people think I fancy him. Is Tom Daly the Mr. Grey? No. <laughs> Tom Daly's like 14 years old. He's 18 years old now. 18 years old. Yeah. So is you've been you've been Twitter flirting, now, you've been I'm twirting. joking with him, and I, you know, he's he's mentioned me quite a bit previously, and I wanted to show support for the Olympics, obviously, and the fact that I swan dived on The Voice. It was just supposed to be like 
a joke. Then. Obviously, we've seen the public face of that. Have you been DMing? Tom? Direct messaging, yeah. No DMs? None? None May at all? May help us improve me, me form if I want to swan dive on tour. Is he going to do it? If I swan dived, like I swan dived on The Voice, he said I would belly flop. <laughs> <laughs> and make a big splash. <laughs> you would, yeah, you would. I'm That's sure fans and I would don't catch want you. That. The That's soldiers would catch you. Maybe I should just swan dive into the audience. Have you booked in the sessions with Tom then? No, but I want to. Okay, so that, you know, you're going to do that before the tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. So let's talk about, well, this is the bit where we talk about the Girls Allowed tour and you basically tell me nothing. So should we just get that out of the way? Do you want to just say, I'm, I'm telling you nothing? telling you nothing <laughs> i'm glad we've done that but obviously you said you wanted tom daly out there's been rumors anyway that you and the girls have been saying you wanted tom daly at the girls allowed tour oh that would be nice in his speedos that, those were the rumors <laughs> uh i'm sure may fans would love that if he was going to do that what role would you give him swan dive you'd definitely give him the swan dive swan dive crowd surf crowd surf just so the awesome. fans can have a little Touch. Touch as he sweeps past. They're all his age. <laughs> all right, brilliant. Now, I want a rubbish exclusive, at least, about the Girls Aloud thing, because mm. you never tell me anything. and Everyone wants to know. Mm. Now, Amelia Lilly says she's heard songs. Apparently, she was in a studio next door. Ooh. She wouldn't tell me anything. She just said they were awesome. They are. Are they? Is that the exclusive? Is there a word you can tell me from the song? Like, do you say the word and? I just want to dance. Oh my God. Is that one of the words, one of the lines? Oh, literally, I'm fanboying even more than I thought <laughs> I could even fanboy ever. Danny May says, what is the most important thing you've learned from your life? Ooh, many things. Um, to not take anything too seriously. Have fun. You know what's really important that I realized recently? This is deep now. You want us to get deep? Let's get deep. Turn the lights down a little bit low and all that. We don't live right now. Because we're always stressing about something that already happened that's in the past and is gone. Or worrying about something that's going to happen in the future, but it doesn't exist yet. So there's no point worrying. So you should live right now. Live for now. So I'm just enjoying talking to you right now, James. I'm enjoying talking to you too. Uh, Emma says, do Buster and Coco sleep in your bedroom with you? Yes. They do? Mm -hmm. You sleep. So you sleep with them? Coco sleeps with her head on the pillow like a human. <laughs> and she snores. And Buster takes up the whole bed. That's cute. That's really cute. Uh, Destiny says, what was the last text message on your phone? What did it say? Oh. He heard you had a crash. Hope you're okay. Love it. And you are? Yes, I'm fine. Uh, Callum says, can she destroy a kebab, Palmo, or are you more of a cheesy chips gravy person? What's a Palmo? It's a northeast thing, Middlesbrough. Palmo? Yeah, you've not had a Palmo. What's that? That's like a chicken thing with cheese and chips. Mmm. I can't believe you've not had a Palmo. No, but I, sh I want to try one. That's now. crazy that you've not had a Palmo. I love cheesy chips, though. Cheesy chips and gravy? Not gravy. Not gravy. Maybe beans. Chelsea says, did you watch the Oprah interview with Rihanna? What did you think about how open she was? No, but I keep meaning to. I'm going to actually do that this afternoon. Did you see any clips? I saw, like the odd one on the TV but it didn't show you anything I just saw a little bit where she was crying which is sad now obviously she finds it quite hard dealing with fame uh, being famous that's what she said in the interview that's what she said yeah. oh, I need to watch it I Do bet you we've got so much in common say that again I bet you we and her have so much in common yeah, have you hung out with Rihanna yet not like on a night out or had enough time to get deep with her but I just know that we would have a lot to talk about All Right. thank you so much for hanging out tonight Cheryl thank you it's been great seeing you thanks Angie